Jack Moylan, how have preparations gone for the Bows game? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a good week. Obviously, it's been a change because we've gone from a Friday to a Sunday, so we've had to change things up. But all the lads feel great. Everyone's fit and we're ready to go. It definitely feels like even from that Bonnegy game, from that Dundalk game, from the Sligo game, there's been a ring around this date in the calendar for a few weeks. Yeah, well, this is a big game for us, obviously. It's a double derby, but outside that, it's a cup game and something that we put in at the start of the season was that we wanted to have a good cup run and give something for the fans to really get on board with it, and this is definitely it. And it's a great chance to, if we win, to get into a cup final that I don't think Shelburne have been in in over 10 years. So. It's probably an extra emphasis as well for yourself. Uh, Bo was a club you were, you were at previously. You obviously had your loan spell last year, but does that give you an added bit of personal motivation? Yeah, it does. Obviously, you always want to prove people wrong and stuff, but I'm just training as another game of football because you can't have to go about it that way. If you look into things too much, it throws you off your game, so it's just another game for me. But I definitely have it in the pit of my stomach that I know what happened and I'm ready to go. Yeah. Aspects of it in the dark game, obviously, the game against Sligo, there were positive displays. If we didn't get what we deserved last week, would you be pretty pleased with the way the performances are starting to shape up? Some of the positive aspects, anyway? Yeah, they've been good the last two weeks, obviously. Sligo kind of got away from us and probably was an unfair, unfair reflection of what happened. And I think if we scored early or we took our chances, we probably would have went on to win the game. And in the dark, we showed a good defensive display. And obviously, on the, the night on the telly, it was good. So. Yeah, personal performances is good to build on. Obviously, the lads have come in. Mate, he's been brilliant so far since he's come in. I've struck a good partnership with him, so we're ready to go. Yeah. What have the fans meant this season to you personally? You seem to have a connection with them. There's not many players to get a song as quick as you've got. Yeah, no, I love them. They're all, they're all brilliant. They're all mad, but they're brilliant. And uh, yeah, obviously, my friends and family are in there all the time and have a lot of time for them. They, they pay their good hard earned money to come to matches, and that's what we're doing our best for us to give them special nights in the Aviv and special nights to obviously target against balls. It's a massive occasion for the club. There's a lot of talk in fans groups this week about how much a win would mean. Is it difficult to separate yourself from the sentiment of the occasion and just focus on the football or is that just part of the job? Well you have to rise to the occasion. Like that's about being a footballer and I think that was said straight after the game last week is that this could be the biggest game of lads careers. It's the biggest game of my career and so far I have no point in hiding from that, I have no shame in hiding from that and you just have to relish in the moment and kind of you do have to probably take yourself away from the atmosphere just before kick-off and realise that it is just another game and you do have to go out and do your job, but when you're on the pitch, obviously, it's, it's all hell goes loose and we're ready for it. Management and staff talk to us about trying to lift lads, trying to get a response out of them. What kind of response have they got from you players this week? Yeah, it's been good. Training has been really good. The lads showing that they're on it and everyone wants to be in the team and everyone's fit and ready to go. I think it's the first time in a while that we've had a proper good selection of players and Everyone's fighting for the spot. That's the good thing about the squad. Everyone's pushing each other. There's quality in every position, and it's tough. So you make sure you stay in the squad when you're in.